Homabi County could now be headed back to ballot to elect a new governor. This after sitting Governor Cyprian Awiti for the second time was unlucky after his appeal against a high court decision that quashed his August 8, 2017 victory was dismissed by the Court of Appeal. An election court has no jurisdiction to determine if an election offense has been committed. The appellate court in Kisumu confirmed and upheld in its entirety the high court ruling which found Awiti's election victory had flouted the election laws. Subject to the order of course, the appeal and cross appeal by the appellant and the first respondents respectively, respectively have no merit and are hereby dismissed. In a verdict that lasted nearly two hours, Lady Justice Fatuma Sichale ordered for a repeat election that meets the threshold set in the constitution and election laws as directed by the High Court. We are cognizant that no two cases are similar. The judge, however, revised the cost of the suit to be paid to the petitioner, former Kasipol MP Oyugi Magwanga. A fresh gubernatorial election for the county of Omar Bay be held and that the petitioner's cost pegged at Kenya 6 million, subject to taxation be borne by the first respondent in the sum of Kenya shillings 4 million and the third and fourth respondent in the sum of Kenya shillings 2 million. The High Court had ordered a fresh recount of the votes, where Magwanga, who vied as an independent candidate, was found to have won the August 8th election. In this appeal, the trial court made findings of fact that we have no jurisdiction to delve into, that, that there are other flaws and irregularities disclosed in the tallying process that make the declared results indeterminate as to who the winner is. The ruling signaled an immediate shift in the political landscape of Homabi County as Magwanga's supporters burst into song and celebrations outside the court and in Homabi County. I want to actually thank the people of Homa Bay to have actually stayed steadfast from day one up to today. Their support has been noted and is appreciated. Awit is yet to indicate whether he will appeal the decision, with IBC now expected to organize a fresh election if he does not file an appeal at the Supreme Court in the next 14 days. Daniel Karioki, K24, Evening Edition.